Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, perform a histogram in SPSS as well as a frequency table. Uh, and a histogram is a, a chart or a figure, uh, whereas a frequency table is obviously a table. And these are two of the most uh, fundamental and basic analyses uh, that can be done in uh, SPSS and pretty much any um, a statistical software package. Uh, and typically people are encouraged to perform these type of analyses which are, very, which are not really statistical analyses but more just exploratory um, data analysis. Uh, because you can ha it will help you um, determine whether you are satisfying assumptions uh, particularly related to normal distributions which uh, many statistics uh, do assume. Uh, in a previous video I performed a Pearson correlation and I did so between age and income and the hypothesis was that the older you are the more money you make. And this is based on the SPSS sample data set called Bank Loan. What I didn't do, uh, though, in that Pearson Correlation video uh, was look at the uh, histogram and corresponding f frequency tables, uh, which is what you should do uh, before you do any type of analysis, uh, usually. Uh, so in this case, uh, to do the um, analysis, uh, histogram and frequency table, go into Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, uh, and you put your two variables that you're interested in, or all the variables that you're interested in. In this case, I'm interested in two, age and years, and household income. And frequent, uh, display frequency tables as a default. It's always uh, selected, you, so you can unselect it if you're not interested in it. You just want the histogram, which is in the chart section of the uh, graphical user interface. And you click on histograms. And you can show normal curve on histogram if you want. To be honest, I don't actually usually do that uh, because it's... Um, I don't find it that informative, but um, uh, I clicked it on this. I selected it on uh, in this case just to show what it looks like. All right, so we'll click on OK and click on OK. And we can see that the sample size uh, is 850 for both age and household income. We've got age and years, and this is the frequency table. So we can see that there are at, at age of 20, for the age of 20, there are two people, which corresponds to 0.2% of the total, so out of 850. Uh, valid percent, so if you have missing observations, then this percent and valid percent will change because there are no missing uh, data points. We'll, we'll see that percent and valid percent are always the same uh, throughout the whole table. But in most cases, you have missing data, so your percent and valid percent are actually going to change. And it's um, uh, valid percent that uh, represents the percentage of uh, observations relative to the uh, maximum possible, uh, e excluding missing observations. And then you have cumulative percentage. Uh, which is always the same for the lowest uh, observation, but as you increase, uh, cumulative percentage increases as you go across the range of your variable. So going from 20 to 21, we've gone from 0.2% of the, of the total sample up to 1.6, because we're simply adding 1.4 and 2. And then you keep adding successively across each observation, uh, possible observation point. All right, so we can see that in this case, 29 people. I mean, for the age of 29, there are 51 cases, uh, and that's 6% of the sample. But here we have 30.1, and we can say that 30.1% of the whole sample is 29 or younger. All right, so th cumulative percent, 30% uh, 30 of the sample is 29 or younger. And then we can keep going up, and we can see that the, uh, the, the oldest person in the sample is 56. There are two people that are 56, and that represents, now that's representing 100% of the whole sample, because 100% of the sample is either 56 or less than 56. And we can see that 90, uh, for age 50, 96.4% of the sample is 50 or, or, or younger. And that 1.3% of the sample is 50 years old. 
All right, and that's 11 observations.